Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the third Google Frog Cube game in this series that's sort of randomly happening because, well, Google Frog asked for it, basically. Yeah. Google Frog and Cube. And this game is going to be on Altair Crossing. This is a very interesting map. Lots and lots and lots of reclaim. Super reclaim heavy. It's, it's, that's what it does. It's just reclaim everywhere. All the reclaim. And right off the bat, you have right next to your base about 3,000 energy and 400 metal worth of reclaim. Generally, you start out with a bunch of constructors, and that's how it goes. See what they go for. Cube going for Shieldbot Factory. And hasn't chosen anything to go for yet, but this is fairly typical for Cube and going for very quick bandits. Wow, not even trying to go for the reclaim. While Google Frog goes for a couple glaze for defense and then goes for three conjurers, which is much more expected. And also gets up fairly quick metal extractors. Three metal extractors and then the solar plant. So there will be a slight stall. Very slight though, not the biggest deal. And Cuba on the other hand, well, pretty much the same thing. Though Cuba is slightly ahead for when they get their energy up. In fact, Google Frog is slightly behind. This is rather surprising. Why is Google Frog... Okay, Cuba is reclaiming nicely, but... Google Frog, there we go. Now it's starting to get the reclaim going, getting their energy back up and running, and all the reclaim. Yeah, the third rec sorry, the third conjurer is up, and then ticks on top that to stop the bandits. Cube with their five bandits up, getting thugs on top of them. Wow, they're going super aggressive in this game. Cube has, well, the first game was the Air Factory, which is going for what looked like a rush that never actually materialized. The second game was Light Vehicles, which also had quick scorchers that never actually did much. And this is bandits on a map where there's not likely to be any terrain getting in the way, unlike the last two. There is, however, going to be a tick. Not sure where it is, though. Now it's a glaive. Ah, tick's over here. Keep an eye on this thing. Keep an eye on as well as I do, at least. Tick is in position. However, it will stun Google Frog's commander when Google Frog lets it go. And that... Google Frog's going to be careful about that because the tick does go off. Stuns out all but one bandit. However, thanks to the glaives here, those bandits will not be able to finish this off. So Google Frog does not lose their commander. Ultimately does not lose anything, really. Kills off the bandits. Cost of a tick. That's one tick for five bandits. That's a really good deal there. Nicely done, Google Frog. And Cube continues to expand over to the southwest. Google Frog, on the other hand, focusing entirely on reclaim. Or almost entirely on reclaim. They don't, still only have one solar collector. Everything here is reclaim so far. Google Frog, however, going for the counterattack. A couple of thugs in position. This will not be enough to deal with seven glaives. There is a lotus behind the factory, which is a clever place to put it, because it's often where you go around to hit stuff is behind the factory, because the lotus is usually in front. Nice place to put it, however, the glaive going to just target it directly. Forget it. Doesn't care. Going for the lotus. Going back around, trying to get rid of this outlaw. If this outlaw comes up, that's... Ooh, okay, nice. Because that outlaw came up, the glaives are at a much harder time here. Would have had no easy way to dodge the thugs because the thugs would have been helped by the outlaw, and the outlaw has no consideration for terrain or other buildings. Very inconsiderate unit that, but very effective in that regard too. And the glaives, one of the glaives finishing off the thug, and the other one finishing off the factory. Thug goes down. Factory about to go down, or maybe even not that. Now the factory might go down. But yeah, Google Frog wins by basically playing the map because that's how this map goes. You go for the reclaim, and then you build up from there. And Shield of Hatchery not quite dead yet. Google Frog need to kill that. Morphing a warrior because why not? But yeah, Google Frog just needs to kill that factory and then... There we go. That's it. Cubay's got nothing. They are still going though. They haven't quite thrown in the towel yet. Going for a jump butt fact. Okay, jump jet factory right at the south. Bit hidden, bit unknown. However, not very. Google Frog does have radar. She's actually fully aware that there's something going on here in the south side of the map. Doesn't necessarily know what, but knows there's something. So really, not much is really is going to change. Google Frog still has this game. If that was a gunship plant, that might be a bit different, because gunship plant, of course, does have the advantage of brawlers. can basically shut down everything as they're trying to build a counter to it. But jump jet, not so much. The pyro is going to come up, and there's already Rocco's in place to counter it. And the Rocco's moving south to deal with this factor, which we'll be able to do fairly quickly. And no, just going for a shield wide rebuild. Aboard in the jump jet factory, going for the shield bot instead. Still not going to do much. The Rocco is coming into position very quickly. More than quickly enough. And 
Google Frog has been expanding as well, so really not much Kubay can do at this point. Basically, the game is over, and Kubay is trying to hide a factory and build it cleverly, but this map is not big enough for that. If it was a map like Hide and Seek or maybe Trojan Hills, I could see that happening, but not here. Not an Altier Crossing. You can't get away with that. Only really gets away with it because these Rockos are on fight commands. So they are retreating down the hill, which means their line of sight's getting messed up. But that's really the only reason why Kubay's commander is still alive right now. Shield Black Factory is still not done yet, but this is... Okay, there we go. Google Frog now realizing what's happening. Moves in, gets rid of the commander with the Rockos. There we go. Commander goes down, as do most of the Rockos, but hey, there's no economy left for Kubay. One energy, basically. And that's it. That is the game. Wow, three in a row for Google Frog. I wonder if Kubay even has a win at all in this series. I have no idea. But next game will be on Obsidian. Same players, different map. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a minute. Hopefully Cube is able to redeem themselves because honestly, there's some really weird experimental aggressive play that Cube has been doing that's that's unlike them. They're, they're quite good player. I don't understand this the way this is going, but whatever. So I'll have that in just a moment. Stay tuned.